Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 25th Python 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about decorators. Okay then, so way back when we had a look at classes, we came across these strange dudes right here where there's an at symbol, then a word, class method, and down here as well, at static method. Now at the time I said, do not worry about these, we'll talk about them at a later time. And that time is now. So what are they? Well, these things are called decorators. And in Python, decorators basically extend the behavior of a function that it's used on without modifying the function itself. And they're used a lot in web frameworks like Django. So you're going to come across them at some point. So it makes sense to understand at least what they are and the kind of things they do. So in this example, this decorator is going to be extending the behavior of this function. And this decorator is going to be extending the behavior of this function, but they're not modifying the function itself. So to better understand this, what I want to do is create our own decorator and use it on our own function. So I've gone ahead and created this decorators.py file. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a function we can create a decorator to use on. So let's define that function. And I'm going to call this question. And all this function is going to do is ask a question. It's going to print it to the console. So let's do this print statement. And what should we ask? We'll say, can you give me a discount on that? So some cheeky bugger is asking this question. Now we're going to apply a decorator to this function, which means that we're going to be extending the behavior of this function, but we're not editing the function itself. OK, so if we use the function without the decorator, it works fine as well. So to apply a decorator to a function, we add it on top of it. It sits on top of the function. So it starts with an at symbol and then we give this decorator a name. I'm going to call this cough DEC for decorator. So you know sometimes when you ask a question but you cough before it and after it like <clears throat> can you give me a discount on that <clears throat> bit of an embarrassing cough that is what this decorator is going to do so now we need to create this decorator so that it can apply this kind of functionality to this question so let's create that up here so a decorator is basically just a wrapper function right it's a function itself so we create a decorator by creating a function and we're going to call this cough underscore deck that is the name of the decorator. It matches the name of this function, right? So this right here takes in a function and this function mm -hmm. is going to be this thing down here, the thing that it's used upon. So it takes in this function and it's going to wrap some extra behavior around it. Make sense? So in this function, what we need to do is actually define another function. And I'm going to call this func underscore wrapper, right? Now you can call this what you want, but this is the wrapper function that's going to wrap around this function right here. So inside this, what I will do is do a little comment first of all, and I'm going to say code before function. So before this function runs, we can apply some code. Then what we're going to do is actually fire the function itself by invoking it. That's the function we're passing in, and that's this function right here. Okay. So we can also run some code after function down here. OK, so what do we want to do? Well, first of all, what we want to do is add a little cough before the question. So I'm just going to do a print statement, which is going to output, I don't know, something like this cough. And it needs to be in these dudes right here. I don't know why I've done a semicolon instead. All right. So now we have this print statement. I also want to do the same thing after the function so we're coughing on both sides of the function itself so i'm going to save that now and this isn't enough what we need to do is return this thing right here this function right so when we're using this decorator on a function what happens is this decorator or this function gets called and the function the decorator sits on is passed in right here then what we're doing is we're defining some kind of wrapper function and inside this function, we can wrap code around the actual function it sits on, this thing down here. OK, so we're extending the behavior of this functionality, if you want. So once we've done that, then we need to return this function, right, which is going to be fired down here. So let us now return the func underscore wrapper. OK, so this gets returned so that when we use this decorator, we're basically firing this func wrapper function. Make sense? And we're applying this behavior on both sides of the function. Now, we don't have to apply code before it or after it. 
We can do just one or the other if we want to, but we can do both. So let me give this a whirl. What I'm going to do is run this file in the console. It's called decorators.py. So I'm going to run this and we're not doing anything at the minute because we've not called our function stupidly. So let's call that down here. Question. So now we're calling this function, right, which has this decorator applied to it. So save that and run it again. And now we get that cough, cough on either side. So this decorator has been applied. Now, if we didn't have this here, if I save that now and run it, we don't get that behavior. OK, and the cool thing is we can apply now this decor uh, decorator to any function. It doesn't have to be just this function right here. So let's create a new function. I'm going to create one called answer now. So I'll say def answer. And inside here, we're going to do another print statement. And the print is going to say it's only 50p, you cheapskate. All right. So now what I want to do is, oops, what I'm going to do is use double quotes right here. So we don't escape out of the string. And what I'm going to do is apply this decorator to this function as well. So now if we call the answer after the function, after the question function, then it should apply this to both of them consecutively. So now we can see the cough cough above the question and the cough cough above and below the answer. So this is really cool. We're just defining this decorator once, creating this wrapper function, which is surrounding our function, which we pass in. And then we can use this decorator on whichever function we create from then on.